Okay, here we are looking at Castle Master. My Amstrad is obviously running Parados, but then again, who isn't in these, this day and age? Oops. Um, right, so we run the disc. And it, as you can tell, this is an emulator. Uh, castle Master obviously starts in this castle, which is a bit of a bum deal because that's not actually the castle you start with. That castle looked friggin' awesome. Uh, castle Master's castle doesn't. Okay, I'm going to be the prince, and I'm going to start. Highly convincing sound of a portcullis opening, and we slowly move around. Uh, this is the uh, 128K version, so uh, I, I don't think there's any particular expansion to it, as opposed to the 64K version. And we, uh, we turn on the crosshair here and throw a rock. A rock like a gun. And as you can see, the grass here is completely covered in rocks. That uh, that black stuff there, that's actually water. Um, in the PC version, I believe you get sharks swimming about in it. And there's no gatehouse. We're straight into the courtyard. Which uh, looks very much like a courtyard. Even has a little wishing well over there. Yes, and uh, some stables. I happen to know that the entrance to the stables is around the back. See? Secret there. Well, it's not really a secret. You can do that anyway. Um, given this is so chuggy and glitchy, uh, you tend to overrun things, which means you have to turn around and go in. And it's having a heck of a time doing that. Okay, so here we are. Inside the smithy, you can see a block of cheese there. I'm going to slowly move over, look down, and eat it. My computers have come a long way. And if we turn to the right here, we can see one of those big fan things. And if I look down and press the fan, nothing happens. However, in the 16-bit, if you press the fan, it blows. And it turns that grey pool of water a different colour. I think it's glowing red in the PC version. And then it turns it grey to signify it's cool it. Oh, I've stepped over a hammer. Right, back out to the courtyard. Into the thick of the action. You know, for its time, this is pretty radical. You know, these uh, these graphics were ultra-realistic. I remember being mesmerized by them. You know, there were actual buildings you could walk in and out. Oh, it's a spirit. Okay, I've got to slowly turn around and throw a rock at it. Don't know, worry not. We're, we're okay. As you can see, the bar down on the bottom left has my strength on it, and uh, it's reduced a little. Just below that is the keychain. And uh, above that, there's like a, or above the, the information bar, there's like a scroll. It seems to actually scroll, and it shows you the, uh, another one. Oh, that's right, this is the mouse. Right, we'll get the mouse there. And dead. Oh. No, fire. That's the one. Um, the scroll seems to turn, signifying that time is running out. And to the right of that is a little eye that kind of tells you what you're doing. Um, if I look up and down, it looks up and down with me. Slightly faster than it does on the screen. And I just centered my view there, which means it closed it and opened it again. It blinked. Yes, it blinked. To the right of that is a nice pattern. Okay, there's a secret passage in here, and it's a, it's a larder. They keep it behind the fire, just to keep children out, I guess. Children running around the castle screaming and burning. Um, might, might be something that they're into, given the fact that this castle is completely empty now. Okay, so we're going out through the door and down this passageway here. These uh, convincing torches on it. Oh, it's another damn spirit. Right, um, i just take care of that. And that sorted him out. He won't be back in a hurry because I've got rocks. I don't know whether or not the prince here carries around a bag full of rocks or if he's just got the appropriate number in his pocket. We'll go away from the Great Hall because it's... Well, there's nothing that you can do there at the time. At this time. Yeah, the uh, the whole... Structure of the castle is different to the 16-bit version. Um, there's a whole lot that has been removed, which is a bit of a shame.
but then I suppose you have to uh, fiddle about with bits and pieces like that in order to be able to get it onto the cassette or the the disc, the three inch disc that this is on, double sided. It's got the crypt on the other side, which is obviously the sequel. Castle Master, yeah, well, it was a follow up to uh, Driller and Dark Side, where two of the previous previous um, Freescape games. Um, and they released, of course, th uh, 3D construction kit, which allowed you to create your own Castle Masters um, very, very slowly, even slower than actually playing them. Okay, that's enough of that. I think I'll go to uh, Castle Master on the PC. This has been Gareth for ZoneTrippers.com. <laughs>